Hey everyone, how are you today? Did you know that the average closet has over 90 items of clothing in it? And most women have over 27 pairs of shoes, but only wear four pairs regularly. That's a lot of stuff in your closet. And you probably didn't know you had that much because you probably can't see it all because it's a little bit in a disarray. Well, I'm Leanna George with By George Organizing Solutions. And today I wanna to help you organize your clothes closet so you can see what you have and wear it better and wear it more often. Um, and I'm also gonna give you a behind the scenes look at how I organize my closet. So as you can tell, we're in my closet and we, everybody's different. We know nobody has the same exact way of organizing everything because organizing isn't one size fits all. So I choose how I want to do it. And I, before I tell you this, I want to preface with the fact that please don't think you have to organize like mine. You don't. Okay. You can organize it however you want. And I'm going to give you some tips on the best way to organize, but I choose to organize mine by type. So I'm going to walk you through a little bit about how I organize. So I organize mine by type. So I have all my um, uh, sleeveless together here. Let's see if I can get the angles right. And then I move over to short sleeves. And then down below is where I have all my long sleeves and um, different sweaters and things like that. Then a little bit further back, I have skirts. I'm not a big skirt person, so I don't have that many. Um, and, but then I have them again by type. I have the sleeveless dresses, and then I have the mid sleeves, and then I have the longer sleeves dresses. And then finally, I have just a few little blazers and jackets and my scarves. So that's on one side of my closet. On the other side is where I have all my tennis clothes. And if you know me very well, you know I'm a big tennis fan. So I have a few of my skirts and shirts here as well. And then down below is where I have all my shorts and pants. And then finally, right around the corner is where I have all my shoes and I keep them in containers. And then I have my boots. So that's just a quick peek at how I organize my closet. But honestly, there are tons of ways you could organize your closet. There's not any one specific way. It just depends on what you like. You could organize your closet by color. So you could do all your white shirts, both short sleeve and long sleeve, all together in white. Then you could do blues all together and then reds. You could do it that way if you wanted to. Or you could do it by need. My husband on the other side of the closet, he does his by need. He has his work shirt all on the top, and then he has both short sleeve and long sleeve. And then on the bottom, he has his casual clothes that he wears, you know, day in and day out and on the weekends. So you could do it by need. If you worked in an office, you could have all your suits on one side, then you could have all your casual clothes. Um, if you wanted to do it by season, you could do that as well. You know, you could put all your winter clothes in one area and all your summer clothes in another. It's really how you want to do it. The important thing is that you have it organized because really if we think about it, unless you go to work naked or in your pajamas, your clothes closet is the first area you come to each day to get dressed, to get ready for the day. And if it's disheveled, if it's discluttered, if it's crazy and hectic and frustrating for you, well then most days are gonna start out hectic and crazy and frustrating for you. And so why not just spend a little bit of time working in your clothes closet, organizing it to work for you the way you want it to, the way it works and needs for you. And then that way when you start your day, you're starting it out on a better foot. So that's a few ideas. One other thing I would highly recommend that people don't do enough of when it comes to their clothes closets is people don't declutter them enough. They don't declutter them often enough. We usually wait for a year or five years to finally go through our clothes closet and get rid of those things that we no longer like, want, or need. And so, you know, that creates even more of a stress in our space. So I really want to encourage you, if at all possible, to ask yourself some really important questions. One thing that I've noticed after working with clients is somebody will pick out a shirt and go, mm, yeah, I think I like that. And that's the factor that they determine whether or not they'll keep something. But really, when it comes to our clothes, you need to ask yourself a little bit more questions. Such as, when was the last time I wore this? Does it make me feel good? Is it comfortable? Does it fit right? Is it 
in good condition? Does it have stains or tears? You know, is it missing a button or is the zipper broken? So ask yourself the really harder questions, not just do I like it, but ask yourself more specific questions about this. Of course, I'm sure many of you have seen the tip about how to know whether or not you're wearing something. And the truth is we only wear about 20% of our clothes 80% of the time. So we're obviously not wearing a lot of stuff. So one tip that's very popular right now is what they call the hanger trick. And this is to help you determine whether or not you're wearing or determine whether or not what you're wearing. So normal clothes like this, we hang this way. But rather than doing that, the idea is to take the hanger and turn it backwards um, for each of your clothes piece, clothing pieces. Turn the hanger backwards. Then as you wear something, turn it right back the way it needs to go, the right way you're supposed to hang it. And after six months to a year, anything that's still hanging, what we call backwards, you're not wearing. And that's a good indicator that maybe you need to think about letting it go. So I am so glad to have a few of you here with me. Almas, it's so nice to see you, my friend from Germany. It's wonderful. Amy, it's always great to have you on. And Lisa, you as well. Hopefully you guys are getting some ideas and some tips about getting your uh, closet organized. Um, I want to show you just a few little products that I, I use in my own closet um, and that I've used with my children's closets or with my clients' closets that people really, really seem to like. The, one of the first things I always tell people, let's hope my camera doesn't fall over, um, is shelf dividers. Now, I don't have shelving um, un, under my rods here, so, but I do have them above. And so I would recommend that if you don't want things to topple over and make it difficult, maybe some sweaters, some purses, some shoes, um, whatever it is that you may need to, then um, these shelf dividers are great. They're inexpensive and they slide right onto the shelves and make it easy for you to do that. Um, another idea to maximize space on a shelf is to use a um, just an expander, a shelf expander. I keep my bathing suits up here. I'm not going to show you guys that. Nobody wants to see that. Um, but you could use a shelf organizer or expander, and then you could add shoes on here. You could um, put purses. You could put just a whole bunch of different things. So I'd highly recommend if you're short on space, this would be a great way to, um, to maximize some space. As you can see, I've got a lot of vertical space up to my ceiling. So that would be a great place to put some boots or some shoes that um, I'm not using that often to maximize space. Now you did see that I have um, trying to hold on that I have containers, clear containers. This is the love of live video. Sorry, thanks for your patience. Okay, um, I use clear containers for my shoes. That's just a personal thing. It's because I have a lot of space in between my shelves, so I need to make sure I take it again advantage of that vertical space. So having a lid allows me to stack things easier. But some people don't like lids. They find them cumbersome, which I totally get. Um, so if that's an issue, you may not want to do that. The other thing that you could do, and hold on, I have to fix this, is to use shoe slots. <laughs> it is such a fun day. This is truly behind the scenes, folks. All right. Okay, let's try this again. If it's not a dog barking, it's a camera falling over. Um, but I, I like using shoe slots. Um, these are great if you don't have a lot of shelf space to take advantage of. Then what you can do is instead of putting them side by side by side on the shelf, um, put one on top of the other using this shoe divider. And that works really well um, maximizing your space. It almost doubles it, if you can see from the pictures here, almost doubles your shelf space for shoes. So those 27 pairs of shoes you've got can really be um, stored well and easily and make room for more if you want. All right, the other ideas, um, slimline hangers. These work really well. These are uh, the felt covered ones and um, they have little um, slots for like straps. Um, but these work really well if you're short on closet space. Now you'll see that I'm a big fan of wooden hangers. So that's just my personal preference. And fortunately I have a little bit more space so I can use that. But if you're short on space, 
then I would highly recommend these. You can get them like a pack of 50 at Costco, even Bed Bath & Beyond. So, um, I like these. I used these all in my daughter's dorm. So, we made a lot of clothes fit into a very small space using these hangers. So, these are ones that I, I recommend and suggest. Um, if you want to take, again, advantage of vertical space, because like my one number one tip for most people is take advantage of vertical space in a closet. A shirt hanger works really well. Then you can just put different shirts and then not use as much space. So instead of using five shirt hangers, you just use one there. You can also do that with skirts and um, pants. So they've got them for that as well. So you have some options there. Of course, all of these can be purchased Bed Bath & Beyond, Target, Walmart, Amazon, however you want to shop your shopping pleasure. Now, a lot of people have that wonderful one rod space in their closet, which is customary in most closets, and I get that. But here's the problem. You're losing all the space below, right? Now, if you're doing dresses, it makes sense. But if what if you need for your shirts and your pants, you're losing a lot of space. Like my skirts, you can see I'm losing a lot of space below. Well, the answer to that, I'm going to show you, is what they call a rod closet double rodder. It's not quite the name for it. I'm just making these things up as I go along. I really can't remember what the name is. But anyway, um, what you do is you just hook it on the rod. Give me a rod expander. And um, it creates another hanging area for you below. And then you can adjust it as you need if you want it to be smaller, if you want it to be longer, however you want to do it. But now I've got extra space to hang more clothes. I'm not sure if you can see that. But now I've got more space to hang my clothes. So that is a um, really good idea if you are short on space in your closet. Okay, this is really not working well for me today. <laughs> And it's about to slide down. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Thanks for your patience. Isn't this fun? This is what everybody thinks is so glamorous. And I'm telling you, it's not. Okay. So, and there they fall again. <laughs> That's my sign to take off. So, anyway, a Amy said that... Um, she needs to get some of these hangers. Yeah, they're great, Amy. They really are. That's why they call it live. That's exactly why they call it live. Because if I had pre-recorded this, <laughs> it would be a totally different story. But yes, those hangers um, really do make a difference. And uh, like I said, we did a dorm. And those things are like small to start with. And then you have to share it with somebody else. So we were able to get a lot of clothes into half a very small space with those type of uh, hangers. So I can highly, highly recommend them. So anyway, thank you for joining me today. If you're looking for some more tips um, on how to organize your clothes closet, or if you're looking for just more hip tips on or help on how to get organized, please visit my website at bygeorgeorganizing.com. And I will probably be back next week if I'm not traumatized from my video today with more organizing tips for you. So anyway, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.